Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I just got out of Rogers. I ran in there to pick up mainly my ground beef that I get a 10 pound bag for $2.99 a pound. I have only one packet home left. I separate it and freeze it, so time to come and get some more. I also picked up six family packages of London broil steak. So yummy. I didn't know that it was on sale this week, but it was, so I picked it up. And I got a 10 pound bag of chicken breast, boneless, skinless. $1.79 a pound for that, which is very good for boneless, skinless. My mother loves that. And I like it too. I'll slice it up and sometimes just cook it with my steak as a side dish. I haven't been into anything but beef lately. But the chicken, especially if it's cooked with the beef, I like it. I mean, I love everything. It's just that it's not what I seem to go for. Pork is still very hard for me lately. It's like, it's just weird. I didn't even buy bacon ends. I have none and I just, I'm just not into it. And then I also picked up some ice cream for my mother. We had some when Skyla was here, so I've been waiting for her to eat the rest of that so I could make room for another container. And now we have room, I hope, after all this meat that I bought. So I won't be able to stay here long because it's pretty hot. 86, feels hotter. I'm in the parking lot next to the church. I pulled away from Rogers. I wanted to find a shady spot. I also got some milk. What else did I pick up? Seems like the, oh, two packages of haddock for my mother. That comes in on Thursdays, so it's always nice and fresh some imitation crab meat. I wish they would just call it fish because that's what it is. It's just fish made to look like crab meat. And I got her a loaf of bread. Oh, and two big bottles of plain sparkling water for me. Ran out a couple days ago and I realized that I didn't have any, so I picked some of that up. Came up to over a hundred bucks, but it'll last me a while. I don't have very much to talk about. I do want to mention that Fabric Friday is tomorrow. I will have some fabric, but I think I'm going to be trying one listing on my blog. I used to have a store on my blog where I sold my designs by Darlene plus size tunics. That was a long time ago. I don't have anybody to help me or to teach me how to do behind the scenes blog stuff, but I'm always determined and willing to learn. So now the PayPal buttons and all that, it's all so new. It was like ancient when I did it. But I'm trying to set that up again. Just one simple listing to try it out. I think I'll be ready to go for tomorrow with that. If I can have it hosted on my blog, then I can at least eliminate the 10% final listing fee from eBay, which means I can bring you guys a little bit of a lower price, which is what I want to do. Tomorrow's listing is going to be, I might have two, I'm not sure yet, it all depends on how much I get done, but I bought a bunch of fabric at Marden's on sale, and they didn't have it listed as irregular, but I noticed there are little flaws here and there. I don't know if there's maybe one tiny flaw maybe per yard or every other yard but it might be where like a thread lifted up so the print isn't there or the other thing that i noticed was like one piece had a tiny pin size spot of like another color dye it's very good fabric and i still bought a ton of it because it's very small prints that could almost read as solids and I offer you guys like a lot of funky fabrics, so I thought maybe you would like that as sashing or borders or just to put in your blocks. So even though it's very minutely flawed, I'm going with it, but I'm going to try to give you the lowest price that I possibly can just to move it. And I might offer you full yard, half yard, quarter yard. I'm just gonna try that. So those of you who would like all 24 colors, but you don't want a lot of it. You could just go with a quarter of a yard. And those of you who want more can go with a half yard. And if you want a bunch of it, you can go with a full yard. Full yard though, that's 24 yards of fabric. I don't even know how much that would cost to ship, but we'll figure it out. At least I could do quarter yards and half yards. And if somebody wanted more than a half yard, they could order two. So I hope
hope I can get this all set up for you guys for tomorrow and then I'll probably do another one on eBay also or I might wait I don't know I still have the greens that are up there I think I still have 10 more lots of those so I might just let those go first and not really make it be like a super busy weekend what else what else what else um you guys are loving the dating message series and I'm telling you, when I'm there, I'm having so much fun with it. But then I'm always like, oh, it's not going to be funny next time. But you know what? I think those guys are going to provide us with a lot of laughs. I do want to make it very clear out there that my intention is not to meet a guy. I get so many people, not only in the comments, but private messaging me, giving me tips, telling me where else to look. And it's like, oh my God, I'm doing this just for fun for the sake of my channel and I don't expect to ever go on a date because I don't think any guy would ever agree to that they'd be nuts if they did because I wouldn't agree to that if a guy contacted me and said well I would because I'm a youtuber but in general if a guy would contact a woman and say you know I really don't want any kind of a relationship but I want to take you out and exploit you <laughs> my channel you know, and have a date there might be somebody out there who would do that like I would love to do a collab with another male youtuber here local to me somewhere local within two hours of a drive that would be really fun he could edit and upload on his channel I could edit and upload on mine I just think that would be a win-win for both of us it didn't matter if we liked each other or not so I will, you know, just keep having fun with it for as long as we can. But please, please, please stop thinking that I'm doing this to meet the man of my dreams. There is no man of my dreams. It doesn't exist because I'm so completely wanting to be alone. I, I don't want to have the, the, um, added task of needing to be available to do stuff you know what I mean I just don't like I said a couch potato who likes some reality I don't care if they watch all the sports in the world a couch potato would be all right somebody who has his own money who doesn't need me for anything and who won't mind cooking him for himself unless he wants to eat just meat <laughs> who lets me work all I want and just goes by once in a while and says how is it going oh it's going good okay you know I'm actually I'm basically describing my dead husband <laughs> that's, that's the way it was with us it was like having a roommate who would take me for rides if I wanted and you know just stuff like that it was company it was somebody else in the house besides my mother that I could talk to if I felt like it but I just I just can't even imagine starting up with somebody especially sober the last time I ever dated somebody I was a drunk it was so much easier when you were drunk and I refused to start drinking for the sake of my channel <laughs> so but we'll just see how it goes and some people you know when I put it on my Facebook page some people just look at the image and read the title and they don't watch the video so those people think that I'm seriously trying to date which is like so incredibly embarrassing to me I don't know Ugh. and they leave messages I have one that I'm pretty sure will make it into the comments YouTube comments or Facebook comments that I read because she just you know gave advice that I didn't ask for so it's all fun though I really don't have that much else to talk about I'm just gonna go home and eat some lunch I uploaded my YouTube earnings update yesterday if you haven't checked that out yet please do I recovered nicely for the entire month of July it was a rough first two weeks I had Skylar and that is when I was really starting to die out with my energy so I wasn't able to really upload the types of videos that get me a lot of the watch time but um, I bounced back nicely and I think August will be okay she's back in school they started today she is still eight she'll be nine on August 14 she's in fourth grade and her brother is 12 he turned 12 this summer 
and he is in seventh grade and I have a picture on my Facebook page and on my blog. Please do check my blog, oftendarlingmichaud.com. I don't promote that enough. I do a daily chat every day, let you guys know what I'm doing and I'm trying to elaborate more on that, like maybe talk about shows that I like or, you know, just different things. So it's a good place to go if you're wondering what I might do for videos because sometimes I have a good idea what I'd like to upload. Sometimes I don't, but I always give you a recap of the day before and you just learn a little bit more about me if you go and read my daily chat. And I also have other things you might be interested in. I try every day as I can to post free ebooks that you can get on Amazon. You can, you can download them for free. Just all kinds of things. So please do go check that out. And I think I'm just going to go home now because I just remembered that I have ice cream that is probably melting. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. And you can expect another video later today. Bye.